It's something straight out of a sci-fi movie. A transforming flying car is being built right here in Central Oregon. Kelsey McGee takes us to Primeville for a look. When it actually happened, it, it was almost like a timeless moment. It, it almost happened and you're just waiting as this thing goes around, you're watching it, and then it touched down again, and you realize, holy cow, this just happened. Uh, even for us, I think that was a moment in time. The Samson Sky Switchblade hit a major milestone this month by taking its first flight for nearly six minutes at the Grant County Airport in Washington. This feat comes after 14 years of hard work. It's quite uh, anticipated from the standpoint that's what we were trying to do, but it was really after you know five years of being involved in the development of this, it was quite exciting to finally see it get up in the air. There are eight engineers creating Switchblade, including Dana Beebe. He moved from Texas to Central Oregon to be on the team. We have reservations now from all 50 states and nearly 50 some odd countries around the world. So it's truly not just a local local activity. Uh, we are truly an international audience uh, that is looking at this as the future of uh, transportation. To fly a switchblade, you need a private pilot's license, which is about 40 hours of instruction. The flying car is a two-seater, side-by-side. It starts out as a sleek sports vehicle, and then wings unfold, and a fin pops out in the back. The estimated cost is $170,000, $195 if you add advanced features. Those advanced features focus on the flight instruments, which allow you to travel through bad weather. The first production is still at least two years out, and the goal is to try to figure out how to create more flying cars. But it's a true flying car, it drives and flies. The second is that it's high performance in both modes. And the third is that it's a practical flying car. In other words, the wings and tail are fully protected in ground mode. The switchblade has a maximum driving speed of 125 miles per hour and an estimated maximum flight speed of 190 miles per hour. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21. Tonight we're asking, would you drive a flying car? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You can vote on previous polls on our polls page, which you'll find under the News tab.